Dancing. Hey. Mike, how am I sounding? You sound real good. Thanks, yeah. Mike. Da 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 da, here he comes. He's got the spider on his head. Who? Oh. Who? Oh. 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 Oh, I gotta put my headphones on, huh? Can you put them on? I see. Uh, you gonna walk over this way, buddy, or on my face? Which way? You just throw one ear on. Oh, I got both ears now. Holy shit. Let's do this. Let's do it. Look at his face. It's so funny. <laughs> Holy shit. What we have here today, ladies and gentlemen. We got a good one today. Hey, Mike. Cut, 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 cut. I think he's biting me. Oh, come on. Mike, what the fuck, dude? What do we have going today? We got the real know. Tarzan in the house, dude. We got Tarzan in the house. Tarzan in the house. King of the jungle. Mike Holston. I'm here with Mike Tyson, bro. Amen, man. Bro. Yeah. Amen. Hot boxing. Bro, you are a legend. But thank you. I know you already know that, but in my life, being a Michael, I'm the third Michael in my family, you know? So, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson, Mike Holston. I Hell yeah, that's brother. That's how we operated in our life, to be what great it, like y'all. What is it that you have on your head right now, Mike? It's a tarantula. Jesus Christ. Are they yes, poisonous? They have some type of venom, yeah. Yeah. Poison, you know, you know. But it ain't going to hurt you. Ain't nothing to worry about. Certain spiders, different species have... What do they eat? Insects, small bugs, you know, sometimes small rodents, yeah. ears. centipedes, ears. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> Mike, how did you get into this, man? You're an exotic animal specialist. I would say animal educator, okay. uh, conservationist, um, animal ambassador. I'm just a voice for the voiceless, you know? I love um, that. I love animals with all my heart. Like, you know, like you guys love boxing, you know? And that's just, that's, that was my getaway. That was my happy space. Um, I started when I was like four years old. And then, uh, you know that crazy guy, Steve Irwin? Oh, of course, yeah, man. Yeah, that was my idol, bro. Wow. Yeah, you know how people look up to, like, LeBron James and, you know, the Beatles? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I want to be, like, that crazy guy. Steve Irwin, yeah, man. Yeah, bro, so he was, Rest like, in peace. Rest in peace. For man. Sure. Don't play oh, with Stingray. Oh, God. Don't, it's don't an 18 play with foot of alligator right there. And then he dives on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, he dives in with How him. nuts is that, right? It was amazing. Holy mackerel. A 19-footer. Crikey, my ain't she a beauty? I love him. Dude, he was the best, bro. So, four years old, man. What was the first oh, animal you man. had contact with? Well, I grew up with uh, a pit bull and a Pekingese. Okay. From day one. Okay. Um, big, huge, stocky, blue pit bull with, you know, big, huge chain on and yeah. ears cut, you know, but he's like my best friend. Amazing. And then uh, I got my first real animal at four, turning five. I got a boa constrictor for my birthday. Wow. I begged for it for about a year until I got it. That's amazing. Yeah. And your parents were just like, yeah, we'll get you a python. Oh, no, a dude. I, I freaking begged them. Yeah. I, you know, I used to, every time we rode past a pet store or anything, I'm like, I want a snake. Can we go in there? Can we get this? Can we get this? Can we get this? What do your parents think now? <laughs> My mom still thinks I'm a fucking lunatic. Yeah. But she loves me and supports it, you know? Yeah. Because she knows it makes me happy and she knows the real me, you know? So yeah. She, she's seen it from day one till. I'll be 25 in a couple of days, so, you know, 20 years worth of believing in myself, and now I'm sitting here getting interviewed by Mike Tyson. No doubt, yeah, dude. No doubt, Look man. at you, He's man. This is my stuff. first podcast ever. Really? really? Yeah. First oh, time ever man. being on, like, a... Won't be your last one. We're honored, bro. Yeah. We're honored I, I, to have I, you in here. I'm honored to be here, brother. <laughs> That's awesome, you know? man. And you're doing it with a tarantula on your head. You want to put it on your head? I do not. No, you? thank you. No, thank you. You got this, bro. This is going to go no, viral. This is Your crazy. podcast is going to be hitting 20 million I, views when they see Mike Tyson crazy. with a fat-ass tarantula on his forehead. On my forehead? Your <laughs> forehead. Right here, yo. I see the perfect space. No, no way. We got to do that. You ready? <laughs> Trust me. No, bro. Trust me. Where at? Got to find him first. I feel him. Wait a minute, I want to get this on there. Here we no, go. I can't do this fucking shit, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come I got to put this on my Instagram no, story, I too. I can't not fuck that, man. Right, I can't you got to hold that, this, bro. I hold him. No way, Look, man. Look, he's, he's cool, bro. I could yeah, never do right. that, man. No, thanks. He's chilling. He's a cool arachnid. That's pretty dope, I know man. people are scared of spiders and have arachnophobia. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. I want to show you that. Shit, I shut my phone off, too. I'm scared to death of that thing. <laughs> he's cool, it's bro. It's amazing, dude. Look at that. He ain't gonna now, jump on you. He ain't gonna bite your face off. Where nothing. does this guy come from? Uh, I think these guys come from uh, South America, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Uh, they have Chilean rose hairs from Chile, which are 
a, a, a smoother species of spider that's kind of calm. Okay. You have some tarantulas that's like real, you know, sporadic that move a lot, real aggressive, but these uh -huh. guys are real chill. Interesting. Uh, but I think this is a skeleton like tarantula, not a Chilean rose here. He's cool, bro. You should do it. I mean, it's an amazing animal, what, dude. What person do you Fuck. know on earth has a podcast with a tarantula on that forehead and Mike Tyson? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you used to have tigers back in the day, bro. You had pet he tigers. I know you're right. You're right. Yeah. I well, <laughs> you was the baddest man on the, You are still the baddest man on the planet. No. You can't let this absolutely. little punk ass eight legged spider that weighs a quarter of a pound. Quarter of a pound it's spider. Scary. How long am I supposed to hold it if I hold it? 10 seconds. You're good. I oh, got you. This is some bullshit. <laughs> Amazing, Yo, dude. I gotta, go. bye -bye. I gotta document this. Amazing, bro. Yo, this is gonna go sick. A tarantula. It's a tarantula. Hands. So I'm sitting on the podcast over here, hanging out with my boy Peter Parker, and my boy Mike. T oh shit! Hold on, I wasn't recording. Ah! I'm sitting over here on my first podcast. You were smoking a little, little bit before you came here, right? Yeah. What you know about that spider, dog? I don't know much about it. You know, <laughs> Oh, I had chilling, man. My boy got a spider. You're gonna put it on his forehead now. You'll see it later. So these guys, what do they do in the jungle? They they build like a nest. Well, the cool thing about these guys, look, he's so comfortable right now. Look how look how easy Mike chilling, is right dude. now. Chilling, dude. I'm talking about Mike. He ain't talking about him. No, I know. Chill. Mike's chilling. <laughs> the spider's chill. The spider's chill. He wants no. So chill. in the wild, these guys lay out like a like a I don't know, that that high of a web across the floor, mm. right? And they build like a little trap door. In like a in the edge of a tree or under like a dirty log or something or you know decaying log, and when animals, a little rodent or some bugs that crawl across the you know floor, it's like an alarm system and they feel it. Mm. So as soon as that that bug or something goes across there, they jump out of their hole, grab them up. Wow! They don't make spider webs. These right, right. don't. You know these are ground dwelling or tree dwelling spiders. Interesting. Yeah, bro. Now that's like, an average size one. That yeah, this is a this is an adult. Some get bigger than this. Um, I think the biggest spider is a Goliath bird eater spider from South America. They eat birds. That's crazy. Sick. They get the size of dinner plates. I've heard of that. Yeah. Um, so your love of animals, it obviously wow. transcends species. What's your favorite animal? I'm going to go jaguar. 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 I played for the Jags, yeah. baby. Yeah, well, Hell yeah, uh, dude. Uh, the Jags, boy. That's a cool love animal, that. right? That's a real Yo, cool animal. Jaguar's a badass, bro. Amazing. They're big, too. Yeah. Jaguars and anacondas. Wow. Two favorite animals. And of wow. course, pit bulls, but. Amazing. Yeah, on his shirt. <laughs> hey, just chill, having a good old time. Enjoying the podcast. It's crazy, dude. You want to cut and bring another one in? Yeah. Sure, okay. man. Yeah, right let's back. bring in something else. Let's bring in something else. Let's, let's speed this bad boy up. Come here, buddy, don't fall. You know what's funny? I'm scared of spiders a couple years ago. That's something. You were? Let's have pets. I wasn't scared, I just didn't like them. Dude, that's a big ass tarantula, man. That's a house spider in South America. Yeah. You weren't Holy going, you weren't shit! Going on your head, right? No way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. <laughs> They're opening the big one. Oh, a big box. Yeah. A great. They got a leash for something. What is this now? Wow. Ah, like? oh, oh, yes. So look shit. at this thing, dude. You know what I'm saying? I had to bring Come on. King Dingling around. What, Holy shit. What kind of a snake is this? It's a bow. Oh, reticulated python. The python? Python. I guess. So he's really big, like I told you guys earlier. He likes to move around, yeah, too. He likes to move around. You guys be cool if he just slid it around? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh. There's some boots right there, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. <laughs> We're All right, good. Mike, we're back. Oh, we're man. back. What do you got now, man? This is this is uh, a big ass snake. Golden child reticulated python, right? Motley, Motley, Motley golden child. Motley golden child. You see that when it hits the light? What does it look like? It's like a rainbow, right? Look at that. Yeah, it's amazing. Sick. Skin. Now people are always scared of snakes, right? Mm -hmm. They think they're slimy. They think they choke you and attack you. It's not the case, bro. At all. Now uh -huh. this snake is a top predator. Where you come from? Right. They come from Asia, Indochina. Now these snakes are classified as the real man eaters, you know, wow. in the world. Oh, sorry, I took my headphone off. <laughs> and uh, the reason why he got muscle. All this oh yeah, muscle. bro. He's straight. This is a workout. 
24 7. So that's what I mean when it goes around stuff. Don't worry, he's cool. <laughs> Right. I think it'll be all right. He's going to slither around. Is under the table now? There you go. Oh, oh, oh shit. You're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're good. I promise. Grab him, man. Oh, he's right between <laughs> <laughs> You got his head? No. Nah, man. <laughs> We're going to do this pod here. from here. This is small, but it's Big Snake, right? It's all right. How big long was that thing? Big Snake in a little room. Uh, probably about 13 feet. 13, 14? I got him. You're good. 14 feet. I got. The, I'll keep the head over here. Damn. You guys got so, him really fast. Apex is predator. a monster. So, it's Apex a monster. Predator, look, dude. he's a monster, right? But he's cool, bro. He means no harm. Now, I don't live here. I live in Miami, right? Uh huh. So I don't know this snake. He works with this snake every day. Uh huh. So this is why I explain to people. I work with a lot of animals, especially on my platform, and most of the animals are my first time interacting with them, and everybody sees these cool experiences but you guys have been almost brainwashed by the media for so many years you know yeah oh this this is evil this is bad this attacks you right that's not the case at all right you know this is this snake can easily hurt me but he sees no threat in us at all yeah it's he's, amazing he's, cool, he's chill now this is an apex predator so in the jungle where he comes from he's the top dog right you know nothing can take him out of the wild except for you know a human yeah. Or maybe a tiger or something they come across paths, but interesting. Sick snake, bro. What does this guy eat? Uh he'll probably eat anything he wants. Anything he wants, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> big rats, rabbits, uh guinea pigs, whatever uh you know is necessary, you know, a necessity for his diet in captivity. Amazing. In the wild they'll eat um you know deers and uh they'll eat uh small rodents, birds, monkeys. Uh, there have been cases where some people have been killed by these guys. Crazy. But it's not like a... Look at this thing. It ain't, it ain't like a, a crazy <laughs> thing that's happening every single day, you know? Yeah. I think it's only one real document of a actual person being inside of a... And that was recently, correct? There's actually been about three of them. Three of them? Unfortunately. Yeah. But that's that's good for... That's real. That's for <laughs> our time on Earth. Down, Don't worry, bro. Huh? I didn't bring Sorry. anything where you guys would get hurt, I promise. I know it doesn't sound cool when you got a 15-foot snake slithering by your feet, but be all right. You'd hear that thing hissing. That's how they breathe. That's their breathing? Yeah. You got to think this big snake has a big lung. Yeah, no doubt. Know? It sounds like hissing. If he hisses, bro, you can hear it in, in the parking lot. Really? Yeah. And what's that mean when he hisses? It's like, back the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? So let's talk. You know, we've He's got this snake rolling around. You want to you wanna, you wanna bring him out and interact with him later? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Cause ain't no way we're gonna bring these big animals in here. They're gonna be moving around, twenty four seven. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. Mike's like, oh my god, what is this? Yeah, the skin is really beautiful. Yeah, Where's he keep these fucking from? things? Not in his house. So we'll just have this little guy in here for a little bit, and then after the show, we'll go out and play with some big stuff. Now with that too much to that? bring the. Uh, no. He won't eat this. Look at that if guy. If it was a smaller snake, he would have. Now, what is that? At that side. This is called an African pixie frog. Pixie frog? Yeah. Pixie frog. What the fuck? Crazy, what does he right? do? He's a big ass frog from Africa. <laughs> that eats whatever he wants to eat. Huh? Sick, right? Kind He's of so amazing. Big. You ever seen a frog that big? No. No? It's pretty cool. amazing. Of course, he lives in uh, like puddles of water and stuff. But mm hmm. That's awesome. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's get some questions. So tell tell us about this frog right here. It's an African African pixie, pixie frog. frog. Um, these guys, of course, come from Africa, and uh, you have different species of frogs like Pac-Man frogs and bull frogs and tree frogs. Now these guys live in. Uh, look, it's a fly just flew on top mm. of him. That fly doesn't not have a clue. <laughs> he won't even bother that fly. Yeah, not enough for yeah. him. Yeah, but these guys are cool about them. I uh, live in Africa, and they live in small puddles of, uh, like, okay, so you have a big lake, right? Uh-huh. And then, say it rains, and you got, like, a little small puddle over here. This frog, if it's a female, will occupy that little puddle. She'll meet with her mate, and then she'll come in, and she'll lay all her tadpoles in this little estuary, little, mm. little small place. And these tadpoles are raised up, and the male's job is to actually dig a canal trench to oh, the I've open seen this. lake. Yeah. yeah. You've seen it on that geo. Yes. So. So they, they dig basically a canal way, passageway for the water to drain 
through for the tadpoles to live uh, in bigger. But they have to raise them up a little bit because you you know you lay them out in the big you know open lakes and you got a lot of fi predatory fish or birds and stuff that eats them. So yeah. if they can have a little small a lagoon they can stay in. They can protect them, you know. And anything that wants to eat those little small tadpoles, the big daddy can come eat it. This thing eats rats and snakes and crazy birds and scorpion. Anything that comes by him, I eat it, dude. It looks like well, you know, he's eating that, that snake that just left. No, <laughs> no, no well, not at all. That's for sure. Mike, Sick. have you been uh, like? How did you educate yourself on you know all the intricacies and the nature of these different animals? Just an obsession, man. You know, yeah. like when you're obsessed with something. And you love something, you study it all ins and outs. Yeah. You know, um, from watching documentaries to reading books to articles on the web to spe hanging out with guys that just specialize in certain species. You uh. know, there's guys like, um, like my boy Jay, the guy that brought the big snake here. Yeah. He specializes in reticulated pythons. Uh, okay. He makes all the morphs. He knows everything. So, after I do my research, yeah, on the computer. Wikipedia, encyclopedia, you know, yeah. different articles, documentary research. And then after I accumulate all that, I attach myself to a person that specializes in that field because they have something different. Right. You know, than the books have because yeah. they spent so much real time with yeah. these animals. They know more of their personalities. So that's how I learn. I'm a self taught, but I'm like a sponge, you know? I love that. I absorb man. literally everything. It's I've always wanted to go to school for this, but. I'm from the hood, bro. I couldn't afford yeah. to go to college. And you're beyond that at this stage. Yes, I mean, sir. Just educating yourself. Man. I like to learn every day, man. You know, I'm yeah. an open book. Um, I'm, I'm always attaching myself to something to learn, especially about animals, every single day. So, you know, in my mind, I don't know shit. I love that. To it's the world, they're attitude. like, oh, this guy knows everything about animals. In my mind, I'm like, bro, I don't know a fucking thing. Always learning. You know, always, every day, bro. Yeah. I love it. It's I, addicting. That's awesome, man. You know? Well, there's something, that you know. That frog has the name? I don't know. It's Jay. What's his name, Jay? What's the bullfrog's What's name? What's the frog's name? Not the bullfrog, the pixie bullfrog frog. Name. Oh, uh, Gordo. 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 Uh, Gordo. Fat. <laughs> he lives it well, huh? <laughs> he does. He's the epitome of that. Um, Gordo. Well, there's something really amazing about being around these animals, even though it's, it's pretty intense. For a guy who's not hanging out with them yeah it's very grounding yeah you know you're very uh calm you know spending time around them seeing them i yeah. mean i'm up on the chair and you're the having biggest a, guy having here a panic attack but at the same time there's something very brings you right into the moment mm -hmm. you know and very present to be with these animals absolutely i mean i don't ever you know tell anybody to go out in the wild and do the stuff that they see right. me do you know because of course it can be dangerous animals are more scared of us than we are of them yeah you know and certain animals when they defend themselves can be deadly to us sure so i don't know about that any of these afraid of us <laughs> yeah right <laughs> forget about it well you gotta think that bro. looks like a cartoon uh frog yeah for some it does. Reason. i mean it just hell yeah the cartoon doesn't based, even look real the pac-man frog pac-man yeah the game pac-man they have a frog named Pac-Man frog that eats everything. Wow. So the name Pac-Man, I don't know if it came from the frog, but somehow those bigger? correlate. Is it a big frog? It, they get pretty big. Not as big as this species, but they get cl really close. The Pac-Man frog. Yeah. Look at him moving. I'm moving. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to get my better lighting over here. What's up, buddy? Are any of these animals venomous? No. Ven uh, venomous animals are really dangerous. Right. You know, so you can't bring them around the public like that because if you get bit, you're going to get a half a million dollar hospital bill. You're going to have nerve damage, possible death. Yeah. You know, so you don't want that unless you're really experienced in that area. Yeah. Are that stuff's you? stuff's serious. Are no, you? yeah, yeah. I have hours with a uh, bunch of venomous snakes, venomous cobras and Gila monsters and yeah. mambas, you know, Amazing. all that stuff. I don't keep any as... And my personal collection, because I like to touch shit. Uh huh. You know, you're not really. So you can't really handle. You can handle, but it's just I, ha I have too many people around me. My whole mm. family used to be around me growing up, you know, and I would never put no nobody else in that type of danger. Yeah. I've always kept big snakes like that and frogs and birds, but as far as like venomous animals, yeah, I can't, bro. I, I wouldn't be able to travel or sleep at night knowing a snake got out. My family's at home, you know? Sure. So I couldn't do that, no. Now, are they different uh, in their nature, a venomous snake to one or uh, another animal that isn't venomous? Are they more aggressive? Are they more, or are they still calm? I would say more so of 
how you approach them. The, the, every every individual animal has a personality, like a person does. Mm. You know, they have different characteristics. Yeah. So these type of frogs have a broad character, you know, frame. Yeah. And then yeah. every individual one is special. You know. So if I spend ten years with ten different frogs, yeah. you know, and I know every individual frog, I know, yo, this frog is a dick. Uh-huh. This frog's super sweet. This <laughs> sure. frog doesn't like to be touched. This yeah. frog doesn't like to be out of water. You know, everybody, everyone is different. One tolerates some other than others. Interesting. Know? Yeah. That's some froggy shit, man. That's some yeah, froggy man. shit. Tell me about it. <laughs> <clears throat> Tell me about it, man. God. He looks pretty mean. cool. Let's though. talk about you and your animals. You've had uh, pigeons. Yeah, dude. And pigeons tell, us, tell us your animal tiger. stories. I want to hear these from you. Look at this guy. What's up, buddy? Well, t- um, tigers and lions are totally two different species of um, animals. They conduct themselves differently. Um, a lion is more you. He can, you can domestic them family with the family and everything. The tiger um, only depends on you individually and nobody else. Interesting. Wow. You, you ever had any uh, memorable moments with your animals that you just cherish? Like, oh man, one day we hung out in a pool yeah, or something for hours. We always swam in the pool. But the only thing, as soon as they touch the water, that's when they shit. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, so a lot of animals do that. So you can't have that much fun with them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really get in the pool with them. But you know, they could carry me on their back and still swim. Oh, that's Oh, yeah, they're sick. strong, bro. Strong, strong as hell. Yeah, Especially I believe tigers. That. Oh, my they God. They love the water. Amazing. They dive deep in jaguars, too. Yeah. You ever see that stuff with the jaguars in South America? That's awesome. When they though. jump and crash the crocodiles? Yeah, I love sick, that. Dude. It's amazing. And then sick. they carry it out? Yeah. Oh, Insane. Dude, that's sick. That's why I love jags, you know? Yeah. They just don't give a fuck. <laughs> now, do you have your own show yet? Your own? I'm working on some. Nice. I man. can't really broadcast okay. it like that yet, but okay. I got some always working on something. Well, I feel like you know man. the yes, world sir. is in need of the next generation of Steve Irwin, man. Absolutely, man. You know, of course, I'm myself, but he was my main inspiration for sure. You know, so I watch but, his son on television as well. His yeah, son. his son's amazing, bro. His son is daughter. Same thing. I love them, man. Yeah. I never met him, never yeah. talked to him, but you know, like their father did so much for me. You know, yeah. so. I look at, you know, the whole animal community as one community with the end goal of helping animals. Yeah. So I look at everybody as a family member if I know them or if I I don't. Yeah. If you don't like me, I still love you because at the end of the day, we have, it's not about us, it's about the animals, you know? I love it. So uh, I I respect everybody in the animal world. I love everybody in the animal world if they don't like me or not. Yeah. Ah. You know, I don't even care. I love it. Hey, when he died from that uh, that sting, is Uh that... That was just uncommon, right? Or yeah, that- I, mean, I don't know exactly what happened. No one knows exactly what happened. Mm. Um, but, you know, an- some animals, bro, they just have bad days. You know, some yeah. animals get freaked out. Some accidents happen, you know. And in the animal world, we get bit thousands of times. We don't. Some people don't share it. You know, I get bit thousands of times, but I never talk mm. negative about the animals because we're trying to build a positive space for them, you know, in the world. Right. So when freak accidents like that happen... You know, it doesn't happen. It's a one in a million right. chance of something like that happening. You know, people yeah. swim with stingrays with barbs all the time. Sure. You know, it just happened to be our idol in a controlled environment with a stingray that sub, you know, got stung. Yeah. You know. Now they said that if he didn't pull it out, he would have lived. Is that true? I, again, <laughs> I have no clue. You know, um, about the real actual story. Yeah. But um, hmm. I'm I'm sure. Uh, I guess it was. God's way of saying, hey, yeah, absolutely. you know, yeah. time's up. Yeah. yeah. It penetrated his chest, man. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's, oh, bro, I cried for weeks, bro. I didn't go to school. But, you know, my friends and family used to play the games all the time. Oh, your buddy passed away. You know, those fake news articles you mm. see in the, right, in, right, the right. in the grocery store. Right. Yeah. So but it was it. fake so many times, right. you know. I didn't like, yeah, you guys shut up. You guys always mess oh, with yeah. me. Leave me alone. Yeah. So one day when I, you know, I knew it was serious, my mom was crying. Because uh, you know I was going to be devastated. Yeah. And, dude, it was like one of the worst days of my life. I'm sure, man. You know? But uh, your, your idol goes down. Everything happens for a reason, man. You know, I feel like sometimes people are put on platforms to show what needs to be done. Yeah. And then, he, you know, look at me and 10 other people that are doing it. If you can make 10 Steve Irwins out of one, you know, the same thing with me. If yeah. I can if I can inspire a generation of animal lovers no and doubt. I die tomorrow, I wouldn't give a fuck. I'll go to heaven like, hey, man. Cool. I did my job, you know. There's yeah, going to be 10 more Mikes and Steve Irwins and Jeff Corns and, you know, yeah. Dave Atterbros 10 years from now. And that's that's the whole purpose of what we do. I love that, man. You know? As a voice for the voiceless, what is it that you want people to understand most about these animals? The real thing 
is we won't survive without them. Mm. You know, bees go away, trees go away, certain animals go away. We're people fucked. Don't, we're fucked as humans. Yeah. You know, and people don't realize that shit. You yeah. Know? Look at the natural disasters that have been. Look at the, you know, the poaching happening in Africa. All that stuff plays a valuable role in our lives. You know, yeah. so if we don't protect these small creatures, the big creatures, and everything in between, we're doing ourselves. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And if we can't coexist with them, and we can't get along with other species, you know, at the end of the day, we're animals too. We're homo sapiens. We're, we're the top predators in the world. Right. You know, humans are the animals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if we fuck up our own food chain, we fuck ourselves up. Man, it's huge. And that's why I like to keep it 100% real with the people because I feel like so such traditions have been happening for so many years of raising awareness and doing this and donate that. But what are y'all really doing? Because these animals ain't being saved, you right. know? So. That's the message I want to push to people for the masses, the highest platform to coexist with these animals because without them, there's no us. And it sounds like it's, oh, this guy's crazy, but it's the truth, man. Yeah. Now, I mean, that's a big thing, environmental conservation. You know, it's a huge issue. Yeah. And, you know, there's, I mean, that's a, that's a whole day of discussion on mm -hmm. its own. Social media is only 10 months old for me. You know, the world just found out who Tarzan was 10 months ago. Wow. But this has been my dream and passion since I was a little kid. What was your coming out party? Awesome. World star. Oh, really? Yeah. I uh, I ended up, I was supposed to actually quit my jobs this year, my, my birthday. Uh-huh. And I ended up leaving last year. And dude, God put, put so many blessings in my life. Like, literally the next day. Every year, um, I start new goals, New Year's resolutions. But I started with my birthday, you know. I start, I start a new year. You want to hold them? <laughs> I start a new year uh, every year on my birthday mm. and come up with new goals, new ideas to better myself and awesome. my career and my future. And um, I said, man, I need, to, I need to change my life up. You know, I need to go on social media to be more. I'm, a, I'm an animal guy, bro. I hate people. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got bullied my whole life. People call me weird. I have braces. The only black kid that work with animals in the hood. <laughs> so I've seen it all from a, you know, a, a youth perspective. So I, I was never a people person at all. I hated people. It's gotten a bunch of fights, you know, and you can probably relate to this. You know, people used to pick on me, and I was scared at first. And then one day I'm like, actually the animals, you know, I studied them fighting and stuff. I'm like, yo, next person that fucks with me, I'm going to go ape shit on them. I love you that. Know? I was going to get the ape on them. Bring the gorilla out, you know. I love that. And then after that, bro, it was like, it went from, oh, I'm, you know, I hope no one bothers me today. I wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> and that was a that was a switch for me, you know. That was a switch. Yeah. Am I cursing mentality. too much? No, 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 okay, no, okay. no. fucking no. curse. <laughs> That's just who I am, you know. About, it's all good. I have a, a definitely a kid audience, but these messages aren't for the kids. You know, these are for yeah. the, the people with the checkbooks and the power. Right. You know, they need to hear our voices. They need to hear their voices. No doubt, you man. know. So and kids like, probably for the most part are already on this train. Yeah, you, you know? know. And it's the real Tarzan, ain't the fake one. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Mm. I you love know? that. But um. That's awesome what you're doing. Well, man. so here we are, man, at the Tyson Ranch, yeah. Mike's badass cannabis operation. Uh huh. Now, something I don't know if you know this or not, but every animal in the animal kingdom, including humans, have the endocannabinoid system. Explain that. What is that? So the endocannabinoid system is a system in our bodies that helps keep us in homeostasis. Mm -hmm. So our body produces these chemical compounds that help keep us in rhythm with our sleep, our appetite, our mood, helps us feel and deal with pain. And so endocannabinoids are mirror replicas of these things that come from the cannabis plant or weed mm -hmm. that are phytocannabinoids. They're the same thing. So our body produces these same things. That's what THC and CBD, yeah. these cannabinoids, they go into our bodies, they interact with our endocannabinoid receptors and they help us, you know, deal with inflammation, keep us, you know, sleeping well through the night, help us with our appetite, our mood, all this stuff. So every animal has an endocannabinoid system. Now my question is for you. Endocannabinoid. Endocannabinoid system. They can get high. Yeah, that's it. So animals, for instance, I give my dog CBD and a little bit of THC. He's an English bulldog. Uh-huh. And it's great for his hips. You yeah. know, English Bulldogs have bad hip dysplasia. So it helps him dealing with pain. Now, 
Are you into? Are you a cannabis guy? You consume? Not really. No. Um, I'm such a uh, already naturally high person. Yeah, for sure. You know, so I just uh, recently, like literally a few weeks ago, started you know doing some cannabis before bed because you know my whole Tarzan project is exploding before my eyes. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's stressful. In I a good bet. way. For you know? sure, man. And like yeah. I'm so obsessed with it for so many years. You know, I'm doing everything, hitting 16, 18 hour days nonstop, which I'm used to, but there's days where I have to get up early in the butt. I can't sleep. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, dude, I don't I never taken a drug in my life. Not yeah. Like a drug, but like I yeah, never been exactly. on any prescriptions, never had anything right. wrong with me in my life. Right. Yeah. So I talk to my mom, like, dude, I don't wanna I don't wanna take no medication to go to sleep. Yeah. You know, but I fuck I, ambient. You know, like yeah. so she's like, smoke some weed. All right. Like, uh, okay, I don't mom. smoke, mom. <laughs> you know, and she's like, oh, well, try it out, see how it goes. So, you know, took a, um, uh, dude, I have young baby girl lungs, you know? Yeah, and sure. And dude, I hit it once and I would, <sighs> Hey, man, get a good night's sleep. It helps me sleep. That's one of the best things. Once, once, twice a week if I need it, but it's not, it's like uh, two weeks ago. Just yeah, try it out. Yeah. You know? That's it, I, I never sleep either. And but I same. I never took smoked. Never took a drug in my life. Yeah. Never drank. Yeah, barely drank. And I just started that uh, before I go to sleep. The CBD oil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I took a little lot. Yeah. And uh, I slept a little better. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I know. It's Instead great of being for up sleep. Ten times a night. I'm up look five at, times. Look at the night. guy with the well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to get him in the box. <clears throat> but yeah, man. I live uh, such a focused lifestyle. You know, especially now. Yeah. You know, everything's uh, strategic and. You Absolutely, know, precision. Man. It's like it's like going through a training camp for a fight, you know. No doubt. But um, you got a lot going on. You got to kind of figure out what's best for you, you know. Yeah. You know, and uh, been doing not really research, but I've been I've been visiting the West Coast a lot recently, yeah. and yeah. Uh, you know these guys are big on the cannabis stuff. So yeah, you know, I was like, dude, to help you sleep, cool. Yeah, yeah. You know? for but sure. If it, if it lasts, it lasts. No, it doesn't. You know, I no don't doubt. care about it. Well, I mean, being with the animals is super. Oh yeah, that dude, gets this you is super like, jacked up. Bro, you don't even yeah, know. Yeah, you're on that natural this is high. Like, you remember, I seen an interview with Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day, and he was talking about how when he works out, he gets a pump. It feels like he's having sex. Yeah. You know? That's how it feels, bro. You know, Being these with animals, the animals, bro, I feel, I don't feel nothing. Yeah. I don't think about nothing. I'm in pure happiness. That's amazing. You know? So, like, there's been time I, I played college football. I played sports and all that stuff. So, I, I found myself getting older trying to please my parents and mm. you know my family's full of athletes i can be an athlete too if i put my mind to it yeah you know but i i felt myself trying to please them and i wasn't truly happy you know yeah and i started talking to a couple of my college teammates and i started really looking at stuff like in a grand spectrum mm. it's like 2011 yeah you know and he's i'm talking to these guys about their passions oh but i've been playing football since i was two years old you know my father is in the nfl my brother's in the, this cool school you know i'm building a bomb on their brotherhood with these guys you know yeah and then we play a game and the guy goes and blows his fucking knee out yeah and i'm like oh dude that happens all the you time you know it sucks yeah and like I, I like football i could play i could hang with the best of them in my you know but i'm not gonna put all this work in to fucking blow a knee out yeah, yeah, yeah if i'm gonna yeah, put sure. all this work in sure I'm gonna go get taken up by a jaguar or something, or you know, drown <laughs> trying to save an endangered fish or something. You know what I'm saying? So I love that. If I'm gonna put all my all into something and be passionate about it, I'm gonna do exactly what I love. So I call my mom. And I'm like, yo, I'm leaving school. Wow. Total and she knows dedication. I'm an extremist. You know, when I say I'm gonna do something, yeah, you best believe I'm gonna do that shit. Jesus Christ has to come down himself and say, hey, Mike, that's a bad idea. You know. So if I have my mind on something and it's a, in, in a positive aspect. Absolutely, man. You know, I'm not going to stop. So when I told my mom I was leaving school, she just broke down crying because she yeah. knew I wasn't playing no games. Yeah. You know, yeah, I went yeah, home yeah. for a while, then the story writes itself. Well, you were following your higher power, man. Exactly. You know, you were just listening to that calling you had. Yeah. She actually discouraged me after school because I think she was more so upset. Uh huh. You know, and she was like, don't. You know, you need to grow up. You just left school to go play with some stupid ass animals. <laughs> you know, and that was the best thing she could have ever told me. Yeah. You know, because that, that's my mom. I love my mother. You yeah, know, absolutely. But yeah. when someone something like that, you oh, you just gave me some more motivation. Yeah. Threw some okay. gasoline on this. I fire. got you. Yeah. Holla at me in a couple months, mom. I love it, man. You know, but it's all it's all love. She's very proud of you know the stuff I do, the positive energy I keep, the inspiration I keep with the youth, and uh, you know, just want to make my parents proud. You know, make myself proud and keep myself happy. That dude looks like I a little baby. Already, you know? Yeah, he's like a little baby, bro. He's like a little baby trying to take a nap. <laughs> I'm going to go put him back in his, uh, his box with a bunch yeah, of water. All right. He's drying up. 
Oh, he ain't dry. He's still wet. So wet. <laughs> I'm sure You're chilling, Mike? I'm chilling. Awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. It, but, yeah. <laughs> hey, but man, that. somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do somebody it. Somebody has to do it. Somebody's a surgeon. somebody got to do it. Somebody has to do it, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh mike what's uh, what's next on the docket for you man what are your plans for the rest of the year and and what are you looking forward to rest of the year um my birthday's coming up so that means uh, a whole bunch of new stuff's coming i got africa coming up on the 11th of november amazing so the 24th i'm going to a high poaching area oh wow and i'm going with these uh these veterans they call vet paw and a friend of mine timothy sykes they're going over there and i'm gonna do some uh you know, I have a big animal platform with a bunch of eyes on it. So, you know, it's my job is what I do and my job as a man to go over there and bring light to the situation of all these rhinos and elephants and animals decreasing yeah. and bring education into the situation and educate the masses on what is really happening because these aren't getting covered fast enough. Yeah. You know, rhinos and elephants are dying and going to be yeah. extinct in five years why the fuck isn't everybody talking about this so didn't the last w the last white rhino just died yeah like a southern white rhino the male had passed away yeah but i think they have some semen you okay. know um freeze you know they're going to try to impregnate okay. the females or give them a black rhino or something like that to help you know Keep for a little population and go wow it sucks to have to be like that you know but yeah what is vet paw it's uh veterans protecting african wildlife how many viewers <laughs> you have viewers yes well we got 3.3 million followers on wow. instagram oh, nice. cool, um, we got hundreds of millions of views on the animal space um across facebook youtube instagram awesome um we got like 250 270,000 subscribers on youtube um i'm actually launching youtube real heavy do you get awesome. in the water with any animals oh yeah bro. yeah swimming like a fish hell yeah sharks dude. see love sea turtles love sharks um, I got a bunch of tattoos on my leg full of underwater stuff. Oh, I love that. Man, I love marine biology, marine work, you know, tagging, you know, I love all that stuff. Dude, it's like, it's never ending. It's awesome, man. You know? And the ocean's relentless, bro. It's their world. Yeah. We have no control in there. What do we got here? Swimming with a real jaguar. So, if you, yeah, if you go through, yep, you'll see it. It'll pop up on there. There we go. A little monkey. Still capable of inflicting serious damage yeah, on yeah. animals and humans. Wow. But Look at again, that thing's amazing. Look at that face. And showing lots of love from a young age. He's actually fucking me up in this video. Whatsoever. Really? Yeah. And, With uh, his claws? I be I do. In North America before Christopher Columbus and the early <laughs> explorers came and they saw these massive creatures in the wild. And these guys were hunting people. And wow. they started killing them off every time they seen them. So the numbers here in the United States are super, super low. Wow. But in Central and South America, he went to the hug him. Higher. Yeah. Are you just numbers. trying to so keep him from clawing no, you? No, he just wants to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to play. I play with them. Uh, it's called a wrench man. Jaguars love water. On, so, you know, I wanted to, you know, share that space with them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Wow, that's the bigger one. That was his brother. Wow. 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 That's wow. wild. Have you ever gone down to Mexico to uh, see that dude, uh, the black He invited jaguar. me. I haven't went yet. I want to go. You should check that out. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. I want to go down there and talk to him, interview him, because I feel like a lot of people have so many questions for him. Yeah. You know, that aren't answered. So, yeah. And again, you know, we're all in the same, we got the same end game. Exactly. So I like going to places and, you know, asking the questions like yeah. you guys do yeah. and getting the answers and helping people have clarity. I because love that. Because if people, if I can help, his organization yeah. or anybody's organization have clarity on what the fuck's going on over there, it helps. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And if someone's doing bad, doing bad things for the end with a negative aspect, yeah. it's going to get, you know, yeah. it, it, it all comes to the light. Yeah. You know? If you can only have one animal, bad. if you only can have one animal and no other animal, just one animal, what would you have? An ant. An ant? <laughs> An ant works his ass off, bro. Why would I not want to have someone by my side that works as hard? 
I want to be inspired. You ever see ants? Ants yeah. are the fucking kings of the jungle. Wow. They they come in. Nobody fucks with ants besides ant eaters. Mm. But um, you know, think about it. They they make their own ant piles. They they run the jungle. They make pathways. They they're they're they their numbers. Just think about how many ants are in the world. You ever kick ant pile? Trillions. See how many ants come out? Yeah. It's like New York City just birthed itself right in that little ant pile. <laughs> just think about if there's like just say there's seventy ant piles that big. Just seventy, which is a very very small number, which is not. It's probably like seven thousand per couple hundred feet. Wow. You know, in certain areas. Yeah. So just say there's seventy ant piles with a a million ants in each ant each ant pile, in each state. Think That's about crazy. how many ants there are, and how they work. If you put a million ants in here, we'd all be out of here. They work together. They can lift like like oh like thirty something times their body weight. Right. It's sick. It's crazy. Wow. Interesting answer, I'm man. Interesting. How, how much did that animal weigh? You know. Oh, uh, he was close pounds. to a hundred, over a hundred. Yeah. The first one was they're, they're the third, one third, third biggest cat. Yeah. What is it? What's number one? Tiger? tiger, tiger, lion, and that one. Jaguars. Tigers yeah. are bigger than lions. Yeah, tigers yeah. are like five hundred. You know, what I mean, tigers. Wow. Tigers get like a thousand pounds. One of them was long. Uh, long, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. tall are they? Eight feet. Yeah, standing on hind yeah. legs. Wow. It's a big animal. Yeah, it's massive. Tigers get the tigers the have the longest asked, teeth. How how big was it? Um, he's standing up. He's probably seven feet. <laughs> And then you had to give him to a, a place, right? Because yeah. he got too big. Yeah, people just started getting too freaked out about him. <laughs> he was, he was, she was chill, but everybody else in the house was freaking out. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> and you were the only one that had a yeah. relationship uh, with yeah, him. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Shit, man. Well, Mike, is there anything else, Pete, yeah, you want bro, people I wanna, to know? I, I want to I ask some questions from Mike. Yeah, dude, go, go I for it, go bro. I want to go I'm a huge fan of boxing and fighting yeah you know I, I like to fight a lot hey you got um, the man right here dude so when you were training back in the day how fucking brutal was it how yeah. would you put yourself through to become the baddest man on the planet yeah. that's what i want to know getting up at different weird hours of the morning and training through the whole day pretty much you'd watch Just a lot of savage. film too yeah watch a lot of film do a lot of sparring i watch a lot of your documentaries yeah. and stuff and like what you got up here and in here is fucking sick. Well, thank you very much, Michael. <laughs> and you yourself inspire people like me. You know, people, I got a crazy work ethic myself, you know, that I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. But it comes from people like you. I used to study um, different fighters, different entrepreneurs, on what they all shared, you know, in common. So if I study five different people in five different areas that they never ever would cross paths and they all have one thing in common, it's just relentless hard work. Mm. It's like, okay, that's what I gotta apply to myself to become a great, you know? No doubt. So when I uh when I operate my everyday life, I, I'm trying to be on that same level as Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson, Mike Jordan, and one day Mike Holston. I gotta get my awesome. boots on the ground first, you know what I'm saying? It's totally I know it awesome. takes hard work and you gotta earn your shit. So it's one step at a time. One step at a time. Absolutely. I love that, dude. It's, I mean Being it's... a champ. I'm here with the <laughs> champ, yo. I love it's it. Chilling, man, doing some Me, my, my father passed away when I was fourteen. Smoking, yeah. But one thing we shared a lot was he we used to order the fights. Mm. Have all the friends yeah. and family come over. So we used to watch Tyson fights. He used to watch fight, Tyson fights, you know, and we still watch Mayweather fights and UFC fights. And one of my good friends is uh, Tyrone Spong. He's a bad motherfucker too, you know, and just, I love fighting, man. Yeah. I love it. Well. I fight yeah. a little different than the average human, you know. Yeah, I can you take some it. some <laughs> styles from the animal yeah, kingdom. Yeah, but uh, it's dope, man, being able to just be be here. No doubt, man. You know, we I'm not here on accident. No, hell no, We're bro. We're out here for a reason and purpose. Absolutely. You know? So I appreciate you guys having me on here. Let me share my voice and what I'm about. And I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Absolutely, man. We really appreciate having you. Thanks for coming. I mean, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you with them Jaguars look beautiful. I love it. I man. love you guys. I'm a huge fan of Mike. Huge fan of all you guys. So thank you. you guys Thanks, like, brother. Thank you. Love man. you guys like family, you know? Thank Fucking you. A, bro. Love that. And, All right, uh, guys. It's great what you're doing. It's awesome, man. Thank you, brother. Really, yeah, I appreciate really. that. Keep doing your That's thing, a talent, dude. Talent, man. You know. Yeah. God given, man. You know. 
All right, Hard guys. Work. Well, another great episode. Big time. See you guys next time. Peace.